hello guys welcome to my channel um, in this video I'm going to talk about how to update your name on your SIM card so as you know um, after getting your name change certificate after changing your name legally you get a certificate and with that certificate you have to update your name everywhere including your um, driver's license your health card your um, bank information your employer um, your school etc etc so in this video i'm specifically going to talk about so how to update your name on sim card online before before starting uh, make sure you have um, a list of documents required documents so which is like your primary document your secondary document um proof of address and supporting document so let's have a look at what it looks like so first the primary document so primary document can be um, different for Canadian citizens citizens permanent residents and temporary resident so for Canadian citizens it can be um, birth certificate or certificate of birth certificate of Canadian citizenship which, and then for permanent residents it can be a permanent resident card or it can be a um, COPR confirmation of um, permanent residence issued by IRCC a record of landing issued by CIC before uh, June 28 2002 it can be a verification of landing issued by IRCC or CIC it can be a status verification or verification of status issued by IRCC or CIC for temporary residence it can be work permit study permit visitor record it can be a diplomatic identity card and a work authorization issued by department of foreign um, affairs trade and development Entry document um, it is a document that confirms your identity the secondary document should show your legal name and date of birth so the examples can be a passport canadian or foreign canadian provincial or um, territorial id card or driver's license any other government issued id Third is supporting document. So primary document, secondary document, and then there is supporting document. So supporting document um, is a legal document again. So it states your name you currently use. So um, if the name on any document provided is different from the name on the SIN application, submit a supporting document. So the examples can be certificate of marriage, a divorce decree, de a certificate of divorce, a legal name change certificate or court order document adoption order certified by a Canadian court notary certificate also called notary adoption certificate and then proof of address so this is the last one so for proof of address um, it they just need this information to confirm that the that they are sending your send information to the right person to the right address so they need the that document for the confirmation of this thing so it must be issued by a government a company an institution an organization um, landlord or uh, employer and be a document attestation letter signed by the issuer it must clearly show the applicants address and match the one on the online sin application so that's the whole purpose I know I know it's a lot of information mentioned there um, but I had to mention all that just to give you the correct information regarding what is required, what can you upload, what you can, just to make it simple for you guys. For um, primary document, I uploaded my um, passport and my PR card, although the name is not updated there. But um, it's okay as long as you're providing the supporting document, that's fine. And then for my uh, secondary document and for proof of address, I uploaded uh, my health card and my driver's license because driver's license has my uh, address on it and my uh, health card has my updated name with my uh, with my photo so that's like it's issued by government so I think that's acceptable and then for supporting document I uploaded my name change certificate which is very important so you have to upload it if any of your primary or secondary documents are different you have to upload it the the just to show them that why the name is different there because you um, re, you, you just change your name so that's why the um, name is different there so make sure you upload that it's really quick so it i uploaded on uh, tuesday and i next week i get it on wednesday so it was really quick in, in one week everything was done 
So that's it. It's really easy. Now let's see how to fill the application for um, send. So first we are going to type um, update name on a sin card so here i am going to select this one receiving and updating your sin here um i am going to select updating information linked to your existing sin card because we already have our sin card so we just want to update our information on it so this one and then here i am going to submit my application yeah to update your sin record here so there is no fee to apply for it so here apply for a sin so if you're applying for yourself um please select that here my what's my status in canada so you can select your status according to that and then how are you going to apply so i am applying online so these are the documents that we have already discussed about uh, you need like prime primary identity document and then secondary document and then proof of address supporting document so here i'm going to apply online so what kind of application is that it's uh, so if you're applying first time you can do that so here i'm just updating or correcting uh, information on my sin rec record so your first name uh, any other given name which is last name uh, sorry given name and then family name is your last name so here you can press this if you need any additional information so it's a current full family name as it appears on the primary document so you're gonna enter that here so if the applicant's name was legally changed it's no longer corresponds to the name on the primary identity document then so you are going to enter your new legal name so and then for example, you get your, um, you have your um, updated driver's license, but you haven't got your passport or your PR card updated yet. You can still submit um, this application provided you are um, attaching that letter which you got from a registrar that you have, you are, you have successfully changed your uh, legal name so make sure you attach that so as long as you're doing that you can enter your new legal name and then your date of birth your year month day and then your telephone number your language which language you want um you want the correspondence in so in english your gender birthplace um and then country and then province so mailing address uh so this make sure this mailing address matches with the document that you're submitting as a proof of uh, address so as long as your address is same they are going to post your updated sin on this um, address so you're gonna do that your country province postal code and then here your family um, uh, if you have any like previous name you have to mention it here any name that is different at birth time so you're going to mention that and any other family name that was previously used so your parents uh, your parents information their given name their family name at birth uh yeah and then applicant status in canada so did did you ever apply for sin number i would um, say yes so here you're gonna write your nine digit sin number so I've read all that and then I'm going to click this and then click next and you you would have like 30 minutes to complete the application. So make sure you stick with it. Otherwise, you have to do all over again. So are you applying for yourself? Yes. So here I'm going to print my name here. And then here on this page, I am going to upload all my documents. So here um, you can start adding your documents. So you're going to choose files. So make sure your file doesn't exceed 5 MB. So you're going to choose as many files as you think would be um, enough to support your application. So you're going to upload all those files. Um, so it just tells you like for primary document. So here they, they, they want both sides of the document. So that's about it. So once you're done with that, this is the second page. Once you're done with that, you are going to I certify.
that the information is true and acceptable and then you will submit after submitting this wait for a week or so you will get your sin card i hope you find this video useful thank you for watching i'll see you next time